más. Te dejo en esto. Hi everybody, I'm Tim Estilos, and if you're anything like me, you love movies. The problem is, there are so many movies out there, it's hard to tell which ones are the good ones from the bad ones. That's why I'm here to tell you which movies are hot and which ones are not, this week on the big screen. In the new film Broken Embraces, Penelope Cruz reunites for the fourth time with acclaimed director Pedro Almodovar to create a complex but thoroughly engrossing story about love and passion. A love story not only in the romantic sense, but also a story passionately in love with cinema and filmmaking. The story begins its focus on former director Matteo Blanco, wonderfully played by Luis Omar, who is now a blind screenwriter who lost his sight in a tragic car accident, prompting him to abandon his real name and adopt the pseudonym of Harry Kane. The reason behind this abandonment of his past is revealed in Flashback, where Kane meets a beautiful aspiring actress named Lena, played to perfection by Penelope Cruz. Lena is a woman with a complex life. She's a part-time call girl and dutiful daughter caring for her ailing father, who in order to help him becomes indebted to her corrupt stockbroker boss, Ernesto Martel. As a result of his help, Lena eventually becomes his mistress. It's Martel's death at the the beginning of the film that reveals a complex plot involving Lena becoming the star of a film that Kane is directing. Gradually Kane and Lena fall in love, leading to betrayal, revenge, and tragic consequences for all. Almodovar skillfully blends a labyrinth plot full of twists, turns, and film genres into a complicated but ultimately satisfying film. Penelope Cruz turns in a multi-layered performance that is a joy to behold and one worthy of Oscar consideration. The cinematography in this film is beautiful, a mixture of color and exquisite framing, and Broken Embraces marks a new level of excellence for both Cruz and Almodovar, and this is one film that you shouldn't miss. Check back here at Boston Latino TV for me to tell you what's good, bad, and what's ugly on the silver screen. Check with us next time.